Hey Sagittarius, welcome back to my channel. This is Enigma and you're watching I Enigma. How are you all doing? We're going to do your March 8 to 14 reads. Let's see the general reading for you. This is going to be for all sun, moon, rising, Venus signs or even cross watchers can watch this and get help. And for more personal and accuracy reasonable rates, I'm available on WhatsApp, Instagram and email. I also have my previous spells to help you manifest change your environment to positive and manifest what you desire. And then we also have self-curated with high uh, healing energies and energies of love for you guys filled with intention these crystals you can buy from me and yes last but not the least do subscribe to the channel for more videos on your side and we are upcoming with the march horoscopes on instagram so don't miss out on that so check out my instagram as well for more stuff do like, share, subscribe, and comment in the end to help more and more people with the stream. Let's see. Sagittarius, we have just one card coming up. I think this is going to be the limelight for you. Okay, so Sagittarius, I feel like you are becoming extremely intense when it comes to you and your life, okay? You're not allowing any kind of drama to rule you. To bother you to affect you in any which way you're feeling extremely focused and you don't want to lose your goal your vision because of the people around i feel you're wearing the uh cloak of confidence you are very confident these days and you're writing your own you know what is that called you're writing your own dream so it's time for you to work on your manifestation then we have queen of cups for some of you this is a same-sex relationship you feel rejected by this person for some of you i feel like your person is cheating on you with someone else and that makes you feel rejected hurt as if they're not listening to you they are with you but they're not telling you they're not listening to you okay so there is a step that you need to take this might be a specific message someone that really wants to get rid of something but is not able to find answer this is the answer for you if you're like wondering should i leave this or give this another chance because this person has been shady with me and i know this thing you need to release for some of you i feel like there's going to be an intense fight for one person between you and the other person for some of you, it is like most of you or all of you. I feel like right now you've started to love yourself back. You're in the action and you're like, okay, beat it. Nothing else can shake me from my power because my power comes through the highest vibration of energy and that is love. Not even money, that's love. So you've started to imbibe yourself with love, give love, attract love and become love. And because of this reason, you're able to melt down a lot of people but those who are not ready to change because they're born brought up like that, there's nothing you can do about it other than ignoring and avoiding such people because they're literally going to drain your energy and make you feel like you're nothing. So I feel like right now, Sagittarius, it's time that you'll be living your dream life. You'll be focusing on your desires and what you want to do. I'm also seeing you know where you want to go, what you want to do, what kind of person you want to date. And I feel like you're not bothered about leaving something behind because you know there's nothing that's going to come out of this bullshit. Oh, uh, why did I say that? Okay, so three of ones is like you definitely are opening yourself to newer options in love and your options in job or career. Whatever your focus is, it is something that your heart truly desires. You really, really desire to, you know, explore something that's just been hidden from you because you were stuck with someone or something from a pretty long time. You, universe is providing you opportunities to grow and expand. You don't even know how beautifully your life is changing and expanding and you're, you're having multiple horizons. And I feel like right now you're in it. You're in the game. You're not waiting and thinking or, you know... Um, you're not you're not in this energy of let me think let me see you're on the spot you're on the go i feel like you're about to meet someone that's pretty bossy but is loving but i'm definitely seeing that you might get confused because you have options coming in some of you as i've been always getting sagittarius your father or father figure that is always always keeping a close eye on you and wants to have the best for you this person has had a major impact in shaping your life and in helping you give you a pro a give you right kind of guidance because this person has experience i am sensing that the one that you're going to meet now or you've met now you really want your father to approve of it and i feel like this time 
you're extremely uh, worried or anxious how your partner is going to be liked or disliked by your father. So that's something that you're very worried about or your person is worried about if you are with someone. If you're single, you definitely ha are moving towards, you know, light. You're definitely releasing something where there is a no contact situation. You're letting something go from the past. The financial constraints, if there were, they're releasing. They're leaving your life. Now you're moving towards, like, there's something that involves a lot of traveling. Your work involves traveling. From the situation of being financially scarce to financially abundant, I feel it requires a lot of focus. It requires a lot of hard work. I'm also seeing there is a female in your workplace that is extremely logical, knowledgeable, talented, that is pushing you forward. That's pushing you forward towards your ultimate abundance. And I feel like there's nothing that can stop you now, Sagittarius, because... <coughs> With love, you are able to build a whole empire for yourself. I'm not even joking. Sagittarius, it's like there's major success in money coming in. You're going to lead a luxury life. There's money, there's home, there's like there's a vision that's getting manifested. You might buy a new bet or it's just like personal growth. It's everything, everything is growing around. You can see the six of pentacles. You're being blessed with the universe. Because you've done some good deeds in the past, I feel now the karma is really helping you. Some of you have dealt with a Scorpio in the past. I feel like a Scorpio or the past person is trying to come between you and your love. And you have to be really careful because they're trying to keep a close watch on you and is worried that you might get married. And there is no contact between you and your past lover. But this person is trying to come and ruin everything. So be careful of someone from the past. And I'm definitely seeing you moving towards stability. You're transforming yourself. Maybe like the person that you're attracting is someone that vibrates on the same page as you are. That thinks and looks alike. That uh, feels alike. And that's kind of your mirror image. And I feel there's a new beginning happening here. You're going to start a whole new chapter. Your person could be coming from a really different background or a religion for some of you. Or they live in a different country and you met online. So uh, there was an instant spark. And I feel there's something about someone singing really nice. And you're, you got an attracted to their singing. Or it's something to do with how they carry themselves personality traits external features that got them attracted towards you initially you're out of this world to this person you're exotic and shot okay so irrespective of the religion not once you have someone passionately desiring you consistently desiring you Oh, this is a past person that's coming back. I feel like there's someone from the past or you do not want to be with is having an intense desire to win you over. I see this probably could be someone from the past that is still heartbroken and wants to fix things with you. But you kind of moved on because you have someone new in your life. Eight of Cups in reverse is still hurt. Or oh, this person is hurt. They have not. They have not moved on. But I don't see you stuck. I see you moved on. Okay. Ace of see Ace of Swords. You want a new beginning. You want to start afresh. You want to move forward. You want to, you know, you want to explore. And you want. You're very focused. You're very focused about what you want and how your life should be. You're writing it down like this is how my life should be, and I'm strategizing everything. I'm planning everything, and that is why you're getting that success that you deserve. So there's a massive new beginning, six of wands. I feel like a major proposal turning into marriage. Some of your person is extremely noble, giving, loving, kind, childlike, younger or older than you, but childlike, very innocent, loving. Okay, or oh, this is your energy. But what I'm seeing right now, you're so filled with love that you want to help others. And that is why you stand out and everybody's like sitting there and appreciating you and applauding you for your goodness. So I'm definitely seeing that there is new beginning here. So as I'm saying, there's definitely a new beginning that you're embarking on. And there's nothing that can shake you or shift you from your position. Actually, nobody can if they start to strategize and build a proper 
regime for themselves you 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 know you're break opening that glass wall that glass ceiling that was stopping you somewhere you didn't know there was there was an invisible energy that was stopping you and you're like you're breaking it with your mind with your intention with your goal you're breaking it okay so there's a breakthrough that's it you can see you're flying and you have so many new opportunities opening up for you you might get a job offer like that's literally gonna jump that's gonna give you a goosebump or uh, make you jump off your seat okay so this i feel like the opportunity comes out of nowhere but you intuitively was begging for this opportunity not begging is not the right word like wanting this opportunity needing this uh, or dotting on this opportunity you were dotting on this opportunity and i feel like within three weeks or three months time can take longer for some of you I'm seeing a major job opportunity strikes and that's where your turning point is going to be and you'll be like moving fast forward. Uh, there's just no looking back. Wow. I'm impressed, Sagittarius. The zeal and the passion inside of you. You are being attracted. You know, you are attracting a lot of, lot of career opportunities for you. There's so many people want to hire you. I think there's something about your talent that's just come out in the open. So keep on trying, keep on staying, con stay consistent. That's all. That's all you need to do because talent you already have and you're showcasing it. The chariot. Six of swords. And then we have four of pentacles in reverse. And then we have page of swords. You guys might be confused about should I choose this career opportunity or should I choose that? Or you're not able to save enough money. And you're worried about that. Like why is I am not able to save enough or invest enough? It's time that you should. Because um, having a proper track of where your money is going and from where it's coming. It's really important to, to be able to have control over how much you're spending. So... Be careful about your spending habits because in the end of the day, you might get confused and worried about it. Your life is going to change. Luck is coming for you with money. Yeah, it comes with a lot of hard work, Sagittarius. I'm not going to joke, but I'm definitely seeing a lot of things changing in your life. I'm feeling like you can see from the scarcity uh, of money to becoming king of pentacles and then working harder and letting your luck change all by yourself by your hand and then moving towards the ten of pentacle energy it is going to be so smooth that you would be surprised that it happened okay so i'm seeing let me see more about your love as well here. okay see I feel like the person coming into your life will turn things around in your life magically and a lot of people will be jealous about this. They'll be like, no, why are you choosing them? They're different. They're not going to be, uh, you know, resonating with you. They won't stay. They, they won't sit along with your with your needs and with your family. They would never adjust. So, but you know what? You know, you believe in your own energy and you know that this is the one for you. But the magician is confirming that the partner in your life is having a major role in bringing you this abundance. Because when you work in, in partnership, it brings about more results, especially when the partner is trustworthy. That's how you will be working. Some of your healers here, some kind of healers or bankers um, or entrepreneurs. Chemistry. Oh my gosh. What attracts you guys together is that you guys can have fun like kids. Very easy breezy connection. And there's a strong chemistry between you two. You guys just attract each other like magnet. Keep an open mind. Yes. So you may hear a lot of people saying, no, this person is not fit for you. But they might be very different coming from a different place. But there's someone that thinks and feels like you. So they're your soulmate. You guys will start to date this person. You already have met this person. I feel like you're moving towards marriage. Unrequited love. You may feel like this person is not the one or you won't be able to end up with them because they're different. Let go of control issues. It's just all in your head. If you really want this person, go for it because this can turn into your true love. It's all in your head. Everything that happens comes through your mindset. Okay. 
seeing you dating but I'm seeing you being confused about still wanting to you know take things forward with them or letting go of this person letting go only because of how the world will see that this person is different than you but I feel like no this person is the one for you okay that's why you met you have more options than you realize you are adored this is definitely someone new and if you're still stuck in the past, let me tell you that even if it's about your career, you have something better. I go where you go. Your person is going to be like um, glued to you. I feel this person is going to go where you go. That's what they will be saying. You are highly adorable. That's what they want to tell you. You may have options, but this person is someone that's going to stick around and never let you date anyone else. This is someone new, definitely. But I'm definitely seeing that uh, they are... They want to stick with you through thick and thin. This person is totally crazy about you guys. Don't take it lightly or they will be if it's about future. Who is this person? This person definitely has a major hand in helping you bring wealth. Because when you work together, it's much better than working alone because you have a partner that can be trusted. From your work, you'll get major success. You might get rich if you're a man watching this. If you're a female watching this, your person is extremely wealthy and secure. They're going to give you a secure life. This person has a huge house or a mansion or this is your future. Whoever is watching this, depending upon man or female, I'm definitely seeing they will be sending you a message telling you that you mean a word to this person. Wherever you go, I go with you. Beautiful. I love this line. I wish I could put this in my title. I always try to put the maximum information in my title. I don't know why I'm so fixated with titles. I want it to be perfect. But I can't put each and everything in the content into the title. That's difficult. So letting go of the past or the thing that doesn't work out for you and wait for the perfect timing for things to happen but still working on it, that's the way to go for you in this case. Sagittarius, you know what I'm talking to you about. Let's see. My dogs literally go to sleep at peace whenever they're listening to me speaking like this. They're right beside me sleeping. Infinite abundance. So I'm definitely seeing right now you may be struggling, you may be working hard, but what is the outcome? Focus on the outcome. Your vision should be on the outcome when you're working. Because the outcome is beautiful. If anyone wants to send you a channel message, what would it be? I feel like you're changing this person coming for you in a better way. They have never felt this change ever before. You have made this person more softer and more understanding towards other people's happiness because you are a healer. Somewhere you are a healer. As I was telling you that. You are a healer or a builder is also what I'm saying. Someone is great built, good built, attractive. Healthy communication in relationships. Okay. I feel like the best part of this relationship being enjoyable is that you guys are going to feel so relaxed talking to each other. You guys going to have such a healthy connection, such a healthy communication that you guys won't even realize how you're pouring in your heart so comfortably. Okay? And that's going to interlock you guys together to a lifetime bond. Freddy. And you have prosperity. You guys together are going to make a lot of money. I'm sensing that very strongly. And even this person is having a huge potential there. Some of you, this is a Taurus. Very relaxed energy. I'm also sensing Aries energy. Intuitive. If this is resonating so far, do not forget to like this video so that this video can have more contribution of your energies and help raise this energy of this uh, read and help more and more people coming in. Heart guardian. Your heart is going to get healed. You have been hurt in the recent past via some reason or the other, but I feel like your heart is going to jump with joy when this person comes and joins you lovingly.
it feels like you found everything in your life that you were thinking you were missing out on with this love coming in only time will tell wait don't rush wait you can't have everything together sometimes we need to go through certain experiences to understand this connection and right now it might not be the right time so a little bit more waiting guys a little bit more waiting some of your 30s are going to get in this age three is also a manifestation number number i'm also sensing 10 o'clock something about 10 p.m uh a message might come abundance so yes infinite abundance abundance is a confirmation that you're definitely getting abundant this time and there's a lot that's coming into your life on your lap so be ready to embrace it all and be thankful and grateful for each and every experience you're going to have negative or positive because it's leading you towards limitless abundance you're manifesting it your heart is becoming more open regardless of the person coming into your life you're still becoming open okay and when you're open you receive and when you receive you receive every energy good energy give thanks for the blessing of love soon to come your way see i already told you that be grateful because it's coming what else Something to do with major color is red for you. You guys need to wear a lot of red in the month of March. You guys really need to wear red. I feel a red jasper crystal. You can get it. And I energize them so you get it from me as well. That's totally up to you. Or wear more of a red color or a ruby stone more. Or it's just that your food also should involve more red in the month of March teach you guys are teachers born to be um, or your person is a teacher you guys have a natural tendency to teach even if you're not teaching you have a lot of experience that you can actually mentor a lot of people about your you know experiences some of you are not just sun in Sagittarius. Most of you are also moon or rising or Venus in Sagittarius. You're becoming, you're changing. I feel like door to value. See, this is the bottom. I'm seeing that there's major money coming in. I'm also seeing like you're finally your heart is open and you're opening to receive more abundance in return because you're giving off that energy that I am abundant. So the universe is fulfilling that by counter fighting by giving you that abundance back so i'm seeing that money is definitely coming in and you're moving towards a new opportunity but you will feel so confident life is a great teacher i feel like life whatever you are going through right now is just trying to teach you to something become more strong and confident and that change is must to become that abundant okay so this experience is worth it count on it and i feel like be grateful be grateful turtle spirit slow and steady wins the race some of you might not see the results overnight but it is coming it's definitely there so i'm i'm sensing if you're even in 60s or 50s you're definitely moving towards success and you are still in the race but right now sagittarius do not rush patience is the key here because you're going through certain experiences and it's going to lead you towards major success but um, go slowly and stay consistent because that's how you will stay in the game and not get tired okay so consistency is the key here now let's see sagittarius what are the signs coming in These are the three signs you'll be coming across on major note in this uh, month of March. Virgo, Gemini, and Cancer. Now I'm going to pull out 
uh, all sign read in love aries to pisces what does your person think and feel about you sagittarius what does your person think and feel about you sagittarius aries Aries, I feel like this person wants to come towards you aggressively. They're like, I want this person by hook or by crook. And then we have the Taurus is like very happy to have you. And this person thinks like, now this is my new beginning. I'm going to have fun and I'm going to like take it forward towards deep commitment. I feel like this person does have other options as well. Gemini. Okay. So the Gemini is walking away because they're feeling lonely here. Are you not paying attention to this Gemini? What is it? Okay. Or they're right now, you know, thinking or living somewhere else in this in, in a different world in their mind. And then we have Cancer. Cancer is, um, I feel like that Cancer is going through some anxiety or sleepless nights. They're worried about something in their personal life. So they want to be left alone or they're thinking a lot about you if this is a past person they're still not over you leo's is shielded is protective about their love but this person knows that you're the one that can actually uh, fit well in their life like as a partner as a life partner and we have virgo virgo is moving fast towards you with a lot of positivity and confidence you're the one for them libra Feeling rejected, feeling like you're not interested. Scorpio wants to give you their all. They want to settle down with you, marry you if this is a new person. You can get a Scorpio uh, read from my Scorpio channel as well, which is I Enigma Scorpio. I'll provide you a link below. I'm definitely seeing the Scorpio is wanting to invest into this connection for a long term. And then we have Sagittarius. <clears throat> You want to wait for the right person to come in or the right job to kick in. You're not happy right now or satisfied. You want to wait. Capricorn is obsessed with you. There's more like lust. And then we have Aquarius. Once equal give and take. Wants this relationship to grow. Pisces. Pisces is coming towards you. In a very confident way. They might come towards you with a marriage proposal. That's what I'm seeing. Okay. I'm going to pull out some charm. Before we end this. How is it going? Do write down in the um, comment section. And like if you like this. Okay. You might find your soulmate through social media or traveling. Someone is a DJ here, an RJ here, some sort of a radio jockey. Okay, that's all we got. Someone's name is Wendy. Someone's from Zimbabwe, New Jersey. Someone's name is Joe. Surname Jolie. Someone is from, someone is a Muslim here or Chinese. Wang, that could be the surname. Um, someone's name is Leah. Wes, something to do with this. Jazz. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm also seeing zoo. Maybe you love going to places where you see a lot of animals and you're fond of them. Or you work there. Or you might meet your person over there. Who knows? Someone is from Africa, Kenya, place like that. Okay. Jivane, Amazon forest. <laughs> I don't know what that could mean. Someone's walking in the Amazon. Okay. 
Jersey, New Jersey, Australia, Auckland. And something to do with a lot of animal names I'm getting here. You may know better. So that's about it. I hope you've enjoyed the read, just like how I did. And don't forget to raise the vibrations of this reading by putting your by contributing your like, subscribe, and comment. And more and more people can get help from this. I wish you claim this read. I'll see you again. Bye.